Superintendent Weatherall Neal and the Grand Rapids Board of Education to serve as the first principal of this great new Montessori school. It's truly an honor. It's an honor and a privilege for me to be part of the district's of the district and of the GRPS transformation plan to build something truly special. So I'm here today and I've always said that I'm only as successful as the people who support me because I support them. And I would not be here today if it weren't for the people who are gonna be working with me day in and day out. And that group is my staff and my teachers. So at this time, I would like to ask them to come up here and join me as I announce their names so that you will learn who they are. First up, Ms. Sharon Honeycutt, who is teaching in our children's house, pre-K, three, four, and kindergarten classroom. <laughs> Elizabeth Redman, who is teaching in our E1, first, second, and third grade classroom. Mackenzie Ritzema, again, teaching uh, in our E1 classroom, first, second, and third grade. In our E2 classroom is Kelly Rowland, teaching our fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. I don't think she's here tonight, but I also want to recognize uh, Nellie Callen, who will be serving as our literacy paraprofessional. And then um, the person who I know is going to end up being my right hand, um, we all know who actually helps to run the school building, and that is the secretary. And I have found her <laughs> service and support in the past couple of days to be invaluable. So I'd like to recognize and ask Joanna Higgins to join us as well. Um, though she's not here tonight, I would also like to, um, to say thank you. Um, we have been given a wonderful gift for the first couple of weeks of school, and that is the support and leadership and guidance of Dr. Michelle Coyne. Dr. Coyne has served um, as an administrator in GRPS schools, and she has retired and has come back to help out. And so she also has been an, uh, an invaluable um, asset to us this week, so I would like to recognize her as well. So I'm, I'm really excited to have been uh, chosen to, to create this, uh, this team and this opportunity. Um, I'd also like to thank a couple of other people, the parent representatives who served on our um, interview teams for both our teachers and, um, and our secretary. Um, I think they made a good choice. <laughs> um, there's also a couple of other parents I'd like to recognize. Um, we all know that um, parents are a vital part of the school community. And um, here at Ridgemore Park, we are developing our PTCC, our Parent Teacher Community Council. And if they are here, I'd like to recognize uh, Becky Keene and Lindsay Dorfman, who have worked with me this summer to start creating opportunities for families coming to Ridgemore Park. Are they here? So, yeah. <laughs> Becky's over here. So. And lastly, I want to say thank you to all of our students and our parents for making Ridgemore Park Montessori your school of choice. And thank you to our Ridgemore neighbors for welcoming us back to the neighborhood. I'd like to recognize uh, Mary Lanning, who is the head of the, uh, the Ridgemore Park uh, Homeowner, Home Association, and she's been a wonderful uh, connection to me to get information out to the community. So Mary, thank you so much for that. I would like to introduce someone who needs no introduction, Ms. Teresa Weatherall Neal, Superintendent of Grand Rapids Public Schools. Boy, good afternoon. You can either stay or have a seat, you guys. Whatever you'd like to do, you're fine. I just want to say um, what an honor it is to stand before you today as your superintendent, uh, but not only as your superintendent, it, it is as a community partner. This is uh, wonderful. And for my students, my parents, and the neighbors, this really is your school. This is for you. All of the young people that will come through this building um, and allow us to serve them. It is just an honor to be here for you. This new school, reopening this school, is really symbolic of the Grand Rapids, Grand Rapids Transformation Plan. We started this 
plan a few years ago, actually it's been five years ago, about five and a half years ago, and we dared to be bold. We dared to listen to the community and do what was right. And now this is what we have because of it. We wanted to do just a few things, and that is invest what's working, and that's a Montessori program. We wanted to invest in our staff to create a very talented staff and recruit the best of the best. And again, we've been able to do that. And we wanted to invest for stability and growth, and we've done that. But you know, prior to our transformation plan, we have 20 years, 20 years of this constant churn, closing schools, laying people off. But with your transformation plan from this community, we decided that we were not going to do that. And this, you guys, we see Ridgemoor Park Montessori is an example of what is working. Montessori does work. Montessori, for Grand Rapids Public Schools, Montessori, this is the first across the nation in a pre-K-12. So we were the first. People continue to make these uh, choices for a Montessori school. My daughter was a Montessori student at Congress, the old Congress. We've moved Montessori around, but we have been committed to the program. Once I became your superintendent, I heard from parents and I heard from the teachers and they felt that we were not investing enough in the Montessori program. My cabinet, my board, your superintendent, we all came together and committed $250,000 for teacher training. Because once again, we wanted to be the best. And in order to do that, we had to train every teacher in Montessori. And as part of the transformation plan, my board said, yes, let's do that. That was a huge investment. Not just in a program, we were investing in our children, investing in the future. We've expanded our North Park Montessori. We opened a building, another building as part of the closure the transformation plan, so now we, this is our second building that we've opened for Montessori. Our friends at Downtown Grand Rapids, Inc., they've invested in, they believe in you, they believe in the children. They've included Grand Rapids Montessori as part of the Downtown Development Plan and Innovation Central. That's a big deal. They believe in you, they believe in the children, they believe in what we are doing. This expansion, and it is beautiful. I can't wait for you to go in. I am not kidding. It is amazing. $2.3 million from you, this community. The community said yes to our children. You gave us the bond. We did what you wanted us to do, which is to invest in this neighborhood, in this school. So for that, I want to say thank you. I want to thank my board, truly, and I can't thank my board enough, and I have two of them here with me today, but I do want to thank my board for having the guts to do a bold plan for your children, my children, and this community. There are not many boards that would have said yes to something, and then yes to this community. And I want to say thank you for that as well. And I'm going to turn it over to Jen, one of my board members. All right, well, good evening. My name is Jen Schottke, and I have the pleasure of serving as the secretary of the Grand Rapids Public Schools Board of Education. And I'm also a very proud Montessori parent to Brooklyn and Jacks at North Park Montessori. Our board president, Dr. Wendy Falb, who is also a former Grand Rapids Montessori parent, was not able to be here today. And so she asked me if I could speak on behalf of the Board of Education. Of course, I'm delighted to do so. Um, and speaking of our board, the majority of the nine of us are or were Montessori parents. So for all of you, Montessori parents, teachers, students, know that you are well and proudly represented on the Board of Education. I want to take a moment to echo the words of our superintendent about what this ribbon cutting means for the future growth and success of GRPS. But first, I want to give special thanks and praise to our superintendent for her vision, for her leadership, and for the successful implementation of the GRPS transformation plan. We wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for her willingness to listen, her ability to make tough decisions, 
and her vision about how to invest in what's working to stabilize and grow GRPS. So please join me in thanking Superintendent Weatherall Neal. So on behalf of the Grand Rapids Board of Education, it's an absolute honor for me to be here today. I am still a relative newcomer on the board. I was appointed in March of 2016, and thanks to you, the voters, was able to retain my seat in last year's election. Uh, but I believed in this district and its leadership long before I ever had the opportunity to serve. And now more than ever, I need to say to everyone here, to the voters and to the taxpayers of Grand Rapids, you should be proud of what Superintendent Weatherall Neal, her cabinet, the school leaders, our dynamic teachers, and our amazing support staff have done in just five short years to transform GRPS. This is no small ship to turn. GRPS is gaining national attention for the success of our transformation plan. And again, echoing our superintendent, today marks yet another milestone and a great example of a transformation plan that has stabilized and is growing the district. This, of course, proven by last year's enrollment increase, the first in over two decades. We are projecting yet another year of growth, and the opening of Ridgemore Park Montessori is an absolute part of that success story. So as a Montessori parent, I know firsthand the value and quality of Montessori education. Like you, when it was time for my daughter Brooklyn to start attending school, I asked around to my neighbors and friends about where I should send her. And North Park Montessori was unanimously the recommendation. When I enrolled Brooklyn at North Park, I quickly came to realize that yes, Montessori education and instruction is a little different, but what was most impactful is that Montessori education is about community. Community in the classroom, community in the school, and community in the surrounding neighborhood. Parents, you must be active partners in your child's education here at Ridgemore. And be prepared to roll up your sleeves and get a little gritty. This is about coming together, supporting your teachers and school leaders, working through the challenges, and remembering to celebrate the successes. For all you new parents, especially parents who are brand new to GRPS, get involved. And not just in your school, but as an ambassador and champion for our entire public school system. You are no longer just a parent to your own children, but you are now a voice and an advocate for nearly 17,000 children in our city. Make no mistake, there are going to be a few challenges and frustrations along the way, especially opening a brand new school. But this is your school now. It is your district now. It is your community now. You are part of a greater cause than any one school or even one district. You are part of transforming, transforming urban public education across our nation. So thank you, congratulations, and best wishes for a great start of school and a great school year. And kids, don't be late on August 28th. All right, so now it's my pleasure to introduce Ken Klomperens, our Executive Director of Facilities. Good afternoon. Um, last fall, Superintendent Neal asked me, can you get Ridgemore open for next year? And, and I'm I kind of naive sometimes, but I knew enough that it wasn't a question. It was, you will get Ridgemore open for next year. That's what makes these kind of projects fun. Uh, they go fast. We actually, all the construction you'll see was done in, in four months. So I need to acknowledge the people that made it happen because I just said, yes, we'll do it. So from, from our team, um, Fred Myers, our manager of, op, of facilities, Mark Bennett, our project coordinator. And then in January, we brought Jim Tian, our manager of design, construction, and renovation on. And from helping me, they did all the nitty gritty, dirty work uh, to make it happen. And I really appreciate that. We, we, we hired Brian Dykema as our architect. Brian, raise your hand back there. When you go in and you see what this looked like, that's Brian. So great job, Brian. We brought on Triangle as our construction manager. Craig Datema, the CEO, is here. Uh, I don't believe April and Dave are here tonight. Are they started the project off and then 
Steve Datema and Scott Wally were the two instrumental folks who finished it off and did the day-to-day -day work to make it happen. I really appreciate that. And then the, the one other group we have to acknowledge was our, our little construction inspectors. They had to quiet down, but the group at Apple Tree, they watched every day. Those little heads are, they didn't play on the equipment, they watched. Now they're watching Chowhound. Um, they actually, we have a parent in our office, got a construction report every day, and we pass that on to Triangle when the equipment wasn't being used. Um, they, they were up there every day watching us. So. What we did in this building, just to give you an idea what we took on, uh, we have a new heating plant, uh, heating, ventilating controls. We repaired the air conditioning. Um, all the lighting has changed to LED. All the restrooms are now fully ADA compliant. Um, paint, carpet, ceilings. Um, Let's see, technology upgrade, a security upgrade. So while well, you can walk in today during normal school hours, it will be able to be locked and controlled, and we can safely control uh, visitors for the students that are in there. Uh, all new furniture. We have a new kitchen, and thanks to Philip Green and the Food Service Department for helping with funding for that. We have an enhanced playground. And uh, thank to Matthew Beresford and Early Childhood for helping to funding with that. Um, and then for the classrooms, uh, they were some huge open rooms. We divided the classroom pods, and they're divided in a way to divide but still allow for uh, collaboration between the, the, the two classroom that, that will operate in that area. Um, all that was done in four months. Um, it's fun. But when you go inside, you're going to go, wow, this looks really nice. So if we could have the ribbon cutters up, because that's what we came for. Yes, Bob Server for kids. All right, well, this concludes the ribbon cutting, and I am happy to say that Ridgemore Park Montessori is now open. So we will start. <laughs> um, all of our teachers have been working really hard, um, so we are ready to start orientation. Um, how we set this up is if you go in the front door and if you take a, an immediate left to the cafeteria, gymnasium area, there's tables set up to get information. You'll be able to do um, registration there, pick up information, and then go ahead and head to your child's classroom, tour the building. Um, I will be around if you have any questions. Uh, if you need anything, please let me know. But please, come on in.